How is the average American coping right now when 61 of us are living paycheck to paycheck? Just wait for student loans and child care expenses to hit at the end of the month while interest rates continue to climb. People are not going to be okay for much longer. I feel like we need to define paycheck to paycheck. I know a medical device sales representative who makes $400,000 annually and says he's paycheck to paycheck. He has a lot of luxuries and investments and doesn't factor that in. Paycheck to paycheck within what level of means? On one hand times are tough. On the other hand I go out to eat and the parking lot is full of shiny ass trucks. You can't claim you're barely making ends meet while driving a Raptor. This situation may feel unusual. But, historically, almost everyone I've known over the last 60-something years has lived paycheck to paycheck. In my life, it has been unusual for anyone to have savings or room on their credit card. And it sucks. It sucks to live that way. I've moved up. Now I live direct deposit to direct deposit. You see. I've been paycheck to paycheck most of my life. I am what you call old poor. I know how to make it on the bare minimum less if needed. I feel for all these new poor that are in for a rude awakening. Things aren't getting better. That's a bullshit study. One three of people making $250,000 or more say they're living paycheck to paycheck. Terrible and heating bills are ahead of us. Paycheck to paycheck is a term that gets used very loosely by a lot of people. Some people will claim that they're paycheck to paycheck because after paying their bills, contributing to their 401k and IRA, adding to their savings account, and paying for all other expenses, they've spent their entire paycheck. If that's the definition, then plenty of wealthy people are paycheck to paycheck. A better definition of paycheck to paycheck would be having negative or near zero net worth and making no progress toward increasing one's net worth. I think that term is too vague to hold much meaning. If I make $1 million a year and buy a house cars etc. that are out of my budget I can end up living paycheck to paycheck. I would be more interested in the number of people living paycheck to paycheck based on actual needs versus just in general. I was one of the people I laid out in my example at one point. I didn't make that much, but significantly more than I do now. But it basically all went out as fast as it came in. With some basic effort to actually manage my budget and spending, I have a decent buffer of savings while making about one three of what I was before. Every single time I ask what does paycheck to paycheck actually mean, I usually get four or five different answers. So I'm going to say most are fine. Well pot's a lot more available these days, so they're that. I'm convinced a huge swath of the population is just riding the line of going postal and chasing down the overlords with pitchforks. Got a third job have no hobbies anymore. I sleep on AVG 4-5 hours a day split between two naps. Health spiraling downward. First time? Us old poor are used to this. I just donated plasma for $125 full tank of gas and my electric bill paid for September. Yippee party popper. I'm a bankruptcy lawyer and business is definitely up. My mother survived and prospered out of a kind of squalor that makes my current poverty seem like living middle class. I have nowhere the near kind of climb she had. She was born in the back of a car and endured a childhood of sleeping in parking lots and living in condemned buildings behind paint factories. If she can make it, so can I. My budgeting game is getting better and better. My shopping game as well. Buy in bulk wherever you can. If things you get regularly are two for one by ten. I've always been poor so bring it on. Lentils and rice. I don't want to adult anymore, it's not worth it anymore.
I don't eat very much and try not to check my bank account. Living frugally waiting for the rest of y'all to come to the conclusion that this is bullshit and we deserve better. Alcohol. Drugs. I have no idea. I have zero chance of owning a home. I have 100 chance of paying more in rent next year. I want to say I'm hoping for a reset. Dot, but I'll probably be literally destitute if that happens and coming out the other side. As far off of owning a home, lower interest rates would be great. Dot, but then the prices will go up and I'm still right here. The good thing about a long term lock in is that you know what you have to pay. No surprise. Some are drinking heavily and or doing hard drugs and ODing in record numbers. Others are going out and shooting a dozen or so people and often themselves. So, you know, not great. I'm just trying to keep my parents alive and we'll. There's no retirement for me. I'm their retirement. Holding out hope one of my friends finally makes that commune we all used to talk about lol. There's a reason or 79 to why I will always say this country is a failed state. The more they tie our belts tighter, the closer to anarchy and a reenactment of Louis XVI we get. The bastard kept taxing and taxing and taxing the poor. Ended up in the guillotine. As they say, history repeats itself. Pretty much fighting for my life out here. It sucks man, I'm just tired. I wish I was living paycheck to paycheck. I'm living paycheck to three days before paycheck. I'm just getting through the days cut back on a lot of things and just writing it out. Although incredibly annoyed knowing what we are going through and hearing the powers that be tell. Me that bidonomics is working and everything is fine. Such utter bullshit. Poorly. Fucking bullshit. Last year I worked two full-time jobs and made great money. This year I'm only working one job and this shit sucks. Bills and rent take half of the monthly income. Short answer we're not. I can guarantee. A lot are only living paycheck to paycheck. Because they are too caught up in keeping up with the Joneses. By voting against their best interests out of tribalism. I'm still waiting for the building back better to start. I work at Walmart full time and bring home around $2,200 each month after a 3,401k deduction. I live with my mom and brother in a two bedroom apartment. No, we are not incestual. And we split the $1,290 rent three ways. After food and expenses. I'm able to put away about $1,150 each month. I'm very grateful for my living situation right now. As I can't imagine being able to pay my college debt and save up for a car if I was living on my own. There are downsides to my living situation. I'm still technically living at home so I have a lack of independence. I want to move out on my own someday. But this economy needs to calm down first. I'm living on direct deposit to direct deposit. Well, personally, I'm about to pull a 2007's Britney and begin my unhinged mental illness era. If there's any advice I can give to someone 18 20 years old, it's go to community college and do not take out student loans no matter what. I promise it is better to go to a community college. It's cheaper than a university and an education is an education regardless of where it's obtained at. And it's better to pay about $3,000 $5,000 each year out of pocket than have to pay $100,000 at 30 years. Old. I know this is easier said than done for most people. But if you can do this. Do it. You guys are getting paychecks? I always lived on paychecks. And that's where you're wrong. If I got my next three paychecks right now in addition to still getting my next three paychecks. Then I will be paycheck to paycheck. Bit I am about three to four paychecks behind. And I am feeling every bit of it.